to my channel. Recently, the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute did an interview with two crew members from Encanto, co-director and co-writer Sharice Castro-Smith and producer Yvette Marino. During this interview, we got some additional images and info about Encanto, Disney's 60th animated feature film. Now the quality of these pictures isn't the best because the video got deleted and my download didn't work, but I have managed to piece together some images and I do remember what they said. Firstly, as we previously found out, the core questions of the film are how well do we know our own families and how well do our families know us? The filmmakers talked about how a person living in the exact same house can have a very different experience and that Encanto will explore that. The two key themes will be perspective and understanding, similar to how trust was the theme of Raya and the Last Dragon. Secondly, we got a family tree stating each character's archetype and powers. This means that we finally got confirmation about the powers of some of the characters that haven't been officially announced. The grandmother is called Abuela Alma. She is described as the matriarch of the family and presumably doesn't have powers. The grandfather is called Abuelo Pedro and you might notice that in this illustration he appears fairly young and the filmmaker said that he sacrificed a lot for his family. This indicates to me that he has passed away. Julieta, Mirabel's mother, is described as a caretaker and she has the ability to heal with food, which is a pretty awesome power to have. This presentation also featured this picture of Mirabel with her mother, which could possibly be a healing scene. They seem to have a very close and caring relationship, which I'm sure I will enjoy because I'm very close with my mum. As I predicted, Mirabel's father, Augustine, described as the accident-prone one, will have no powers as he married into the family. We also got another look at him in this family picture. Having an accident-prone person in a magical house is going to be very funny and I'm here for it. Although we know the powers or lack thereof of Isabella, Louisa and Mirabel, during the interview they were given further descriptions. Isabella was described as the golden child who makes flowers bloom, Louisa is the rock of the family with super strength, and Mirabel is the left out child with no gift. Mirabel's Aunt Pepper was described as the emotional one whose emotions control the weather, and her uncle Felix was described as the life of the party who again doesn't have powers as he married into the family. I am very happy to report that we finally found out the powers of Dolores, and as I predicted, she has a superhuman ear, which causes her to hear things that she shouldn't. She is additionally described as the oddball one, which indicates to me that she has a fun and quirky personality. Camilla was described as the family jokester with the ability to shapeshift, and Antonio was described as the introvert who communicates with animals. We also got this really cute picture of Antonio with Mirabel showing their close and strong relationship, and I think that they are in the nursery. Additionally, Antonio is holding a stuffed jaguar and has a box with animals on it, foreshadowing his eventual gift. Additionally, Castro Smith and Marino talked about a family member who can see the future but can only see the bad things. I believe that they are referring to Bruno, Mirabel's uncle, as none of the family members have this sort of ability. This theory also links very well with the hourglass imagery on this door. We also found out that the mood of the family affects the behaviour of the house for this really cute video clip that I'm going to play for you now. We played with the idea of, phys of the physical house as a literal representation of the family and their emotion and their emotional connections. If the family is happy, the house is healthy. If, they're, if the family is being playful, the house may be playful. But if the family is going through struggles, the house will crack. Breaking down this clip, we first see Mirabelle's shoes going to her feet via the floor of the house moving. This we previously saw in the teaser trailer. We then see a large portrait of her grandfather Pedro indicating his importance to the family. Then Mirabelle proceeds to slide down the stairs, again showing how the house is constantly moving to meet the needs of the family. She then brings the basket she got from the donkey delivery guy into the kitchen to her mother, Julieta. Mirabel places her bag and a jar on the table and it moves away due to the magic of the house. After this, there is a shot of the dining room and the flags decorating it lower. We then get our first look at her father, Augustine, with Julieta watching as their daughter leaves the room. Finally, we got some concept art for the film. My favourite is this picture of Isabella's room which is covered with pink, purple and white flowers. Her door has a swan around it and she has a stunning floating bed. The top left picture here depicts the inside of the Magrigal home and I presume that each door is the entrance to a child's room. I presume the pink door is the entrance to Isabella's room. This picture underneath depicts the mountains of Colombia. I presume that this is the entrance to the Encanto as it has been described previously as being hidden in the mountains of Colombia. 
finally, this picture on the right shows a village with the Mako Girl house high on a mountain, possibly indicating the high status of the Mako Girl family. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day!